actually, it was actually frogs that was Tails' weakness, and that was actually the sound. Yeah, the cricket and frog sound alike in this game. Anyways, hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one un has have an is that to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. Lastly, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I, I have not found the strength to continue. Ooh, writing is already the strength to continue writing. Already missed feels like. Um, okay. Let's repeat that. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already missed feels my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm of who you've become. Wait a minute, Colorado. <laughs> if you played Paper Mario 1, you would know who that guy is. Huh? My son, Colorado? Colorado? Not coops. Oops. Um. Yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Dude, your father's not dead. Let's kick the bones. The mighty, oh mighty bones. Blarf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value lives much if you come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further. From this moment on, you will be nothing but bones. Um, what are they doing? Ouch. It's no use, Mario. Let me know. What should we do? Ew! Are they really? Let's just clear it out. Dang! I really hate this mini part of the game. This is one part I've gotten used to throughout the entire course of the game. Apparently that first. Anyway. Um. I should have swapped for Gumbella. Oh well. I'm uh, I'm near death and I have time to make a sassy comment. That's a red bone. It's a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Max hit points is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 1. Unlike your average dull bones, even if it, you pound it to 0 HP, it, it crumbles. To a to and it totally might I revive like a zombie. My advice get rid of the dull bones, then the attack the red bones. Oh, there's one more thing. Once its friends start to fall, it creates some more. So, basically, we have to get rid of the red bones first. We're in danger of getting the game over. So, I'm just going to. Think Ding, ding, ding. Dang it, Goomba, what? 
awesome. Don't worry about getting me you over know, here. Now. That's great. Oh no. At least they can't throw on the turn they're summoned out. <laughs> wow, this looks like a good brain strategy, but it's not. Yep, he stuck throwing. Oh, and we get some awesome star points, but not enough to level up or save ourselves from. Now, the next time we come into a room, these things will greet us. Well, after that, It's a dull bones, sort of a skeleton thing. It was once a Koopa Troopa. It was a Koopa Troopa once. Max hit points one, attack is two, and defense is one. They, these creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, they build reinforcements too. Attacks can that can multiply dull bones at once are the most effective. Um, didn't understand that. So go, Emma. These RPGs are very easy. And the leveling up system, not very hard to get the hang of. I'm like, final fun. Awesome, you got a shine sprite. And if someone played Super Mario Sunshine before this game, you'd probably not know what the heck. You'll probably be thinking, wait a minute, doesn't Shine Sprite have a different purpose? Well, in this game, Shine Sprites are basically the equivalent of another item in the game. And now that we've tattled every foe that we possibly can tattle in this area for now, well, at the moment, uh, to own. Ah, I love the 360 dance. And I have no clue if the episode, if I'm going past the time limit or not. One moment.